Savage Minus Purse Experience is your key to the impossible website. Thank you guys for this cool Pokemon Pixel Art video. It's so awesome for you guys to be here. Today's Pokemon that I've got for you guys is of Poliwag. Poliwag is the baby evolved form of the three-part evolution for this particular Pokemon. Um, so be before I go get into him, let me explain about myself. It's my name is Peter Elvis. Just let my blast know my Pixel Art. Square by square, Pixel by Pixel, as you guys have seen the times in front of you. I do all this in the state of Minnesota. So if you guys want to learn more about me, my artistic and social media links are in the description below. So let's get right into the Pokemon. So basically... Poliwag is the baby evolved form of the three-part uh, evolutionary series. So a Poliwag, Poliwhirl, and Poliwrath are the three of them. And then uh, there is a fourth one, but we won't get to the fourth one until I have finished the original Pokédex entries, because I plan on continuing this past the original 151. The uh, fourth one is if you use a certain rock called a Kingstone, if I remember correctly, uh, it will evolve your Poliwhirl into a Politoed instead of a Poliwrath, uh, but Politoed comes in a future video uh, down the road. So let's get right back into this. So like I said, Poliwag is uh, Poliwag is the baby of the series, but he's really, really cool. Basically, he has a giant spiral on his chest, you know, with the big giant tail. He's a water type Pokemon. And uh, I, I really, you know, he's interesting. He's, he's cute. And I've, I figured, well, if since he's a water type and since I wanted to kind of do some really cool effects with, um, the, with uh, my pieces coming up now, I figured doing him completely in variations of blues and greens, uh, and it, it just it, it melded right into the character really really cool it just it turned out so awesome to me and uh yeah so um for you guys out there uh my piece is 150 pixels by 150 pixels or 150 squares by 150 squares that's how big my youtube pieces are generally uh off of youtube my pieces can be between two and four million pixels depending on the uh, project complexity and all that great stuff um you know, as you can tell, you know, me by doing the Pokemon series, Pokemon was a very impactful thing in my life. You know, it was really cool monsters, video games, the uh, TV show when I was younger. It, it just, I I want to make these these pixel art pieces because I want to and I love to and I love to make art. And I want, and at the same time too, I want you guys as an audience to be able to, um, to see these Pokemon pixel art videos and get connected to them. Like I want people who like Pokemon or who like art to come to these videos and say, you know what? This is awesome. This is cool. Uh, that's what I want people. To, and I want I want to hear you guys' feedback. I want to hear feedbacks. I want to be better. I'm one of those people that just compulsively wants to continually be better than the, the first time that I made something. So uh, what you, sh you guys should do is you guys should do this. All right. If you've enjoyed the video thus far and you enjoyed the time lapse thus far, you're going to either like, favorite, or share the video. I don't care which. Just, you know, just show it a little bit of love, okay? That's all you got to do. And uh, if, if you really loved it and you want to see more and you want to know when the next video comes out, you can subscribe as well. That is totally your choice. Um, otherwise, you know, if you get, like I said, you guys get any feedback, questions, comments, you know where to leave them. Uh, but otherwise, that's pretty much it for this Pokemon Pixel Art video. It turned out really awesome. That's my belief. I want to hear your guys' thoughts. Leave in the comments below. So remember that Perseverance is your key to the impossible. I will see you guys in future Pokemon Pixel Art videos as well as the rest of the upcoming uploads.